let me be open, honest, and confess. Whenever something bad happens unto me as a Christian, I ask the Lord. I'll be like, Lord, couldn't you see that this bad thing is about to happen? Couldn't you stop it from happening, right? I'm sure that is the very same question that you at times ask the Lord as a Christian. Now, let me tell you something. They are planning to kick you out as it is right now. You probably might not know. Some of you might know. And let me tell you something. And hello, everybody, especially if you're watching me for the first time. I am Ishmael and your priest, and I welcome you to today's video. Now, let me tell you that this made me to see that with the all-knowing God, as he knows your beginning and he knows your end, he already knows what is about to happen even right now, this next minute, this next hour, this next day, this next week, this next month, this next year, this next decade. Listen, he got it all figured out. That is why at times you will have a dream. That is why sometimes you have someone like me coming to give you a prophetic word. That is why sometimes in your spirit, you will find something to discern because he is warning you. And let me assure you something. At times, we don't know at all. And at times, when we are not walking with him, we are not moving ahead of time, meaning whatever trap has been set, we can be hit by it. Hence, if you can walk with the Lord, everything is well taken care of. Let me assure you one thing. If you are walking with God, there is no such thing as a premature death. You will know. And if it's a timely death, it means it is the time God has ordained. That is why like someone like Hezekiah in the book of Isaiah, he was able to negotiate with the Lord that, oh God, remember how I have always walked right before you. So that is why let me tell you that a lot of things is being planned ahead of us. And I'm talking about wicked stuff. Even I, as I'm seated right now, you know what I do? And do you know how I pray before the Lord? Myself, each time this pops into my mind, I say, oh God, oh Father, you know what is awaiting me. Lord God, by your mercy, by your grace, may you protect me from whatever wicked that was about to manifest. Whatever the enemy has set ahead of me. Whatever that was to go wrong against me or in my life, Lord God, please open up and prepare a path, a clear path for me. Or in some other words, clear up a path before me. Let me assure you one thing. You, it can be at your workplace. You don't know what is about to happen tomorrow as good, as too good to be true as it sounds let me assure you, it might feel like it's like a coincidence. I know. Let me ask you a question, in fact. Be honest with me, right? Don't we all do get to that point where at times we question it a little bit uh, when it comes to matters like, does God really know what is about to happen the next moment? Or maybe some things are just a coincidence. Don't you? Okay, listen. The moment we talk about, we verbalize it that God knows all, right? We all believe that He is God, of course. But deep down in the bottom of your heart, when you are all alone without having to think about God first, let me ask you a question. Don't you sometimes kind of doubt it a bit? Don't you sometimes kind of feel like maybe whatever happens is a coincidence? It is not uh, already planned. Just like right now. I can decide to just scratch my cheek, right? It might feel like I just decided to what? To scratch myself. Not because God already knew or he planned it to be the case. Whatever I will feel like, okay, what can I think of? I feel like 
it is just happening now because it is just a decision we're making now. But let me assure you, God already knew that I'm going to think and I'm going to decide to just scratch like myself like this. He knows that right now I was going to think of demonstrating to you things the way that I'm demonstrating them unto you. Too good to be true and too beyond, like, that is how great he is. Even I, let me be honest, we can never and I can never compre comprehend or understand the depth of the wisdom of the Lord God. Hence, on a daily basis, we can never clearly get to a point where we completely understand the fullness of the love of God uh, about us, of us, about us. You get what I mean? God loves us to the depth where we cannot even comprehend. You see, if you are a parent or you have, obvious you have parents, the way they, your parents love you, you feel like they love you too much, right? Or you love your children too much or your child too much. But let me assure you, God loves us beyond. That is why I'm saying try to imagine beyond the love that you have towards your child. Is there any love deeper than that? Yes, because we're thinking of God and we've been, uh, we've been reading it from the Bible. We feel like, yes, I believe that he loves us more than, uh-uh. But we don't really understand how, how much. Hence, I am telling you like right now, everything that they are planning about you and against you and me, God has everything figured out. All we need to do on a daily basis is to go before him and ask and trust. Remember what David said in the book of Psalms 23, he said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear nothing for you are with me. Meaning when things are like that, it might get to a point where you be like, you question things a bit. What if I'm all alone in this situation? What if something bad is to happen? You get, do you get those questions? David was not physically walking with God, but he was walking, work, uh, operating in faith. So it is during that time where you just have to trust the word of him who originally spoke unto you in your life. Meaning it's just a matter of, do you trust me? The same manner, if you and I today, if we were to walk with a bodyguard, seeing that he is buffed up, right? He has muscles and he has a, he has a gun or an AK-47. You walk with confidence. Even if you see something threatening in the way, just like David said, the value of the shadow of death, meaning where we are walking, death is very near. Anything can just happen. Death is right there. Things that can kill are just right. If you see a shadow of something, it means that thing is right next. It's just very close. If you see a shadow of my, um, what is this? Uh, I forgot. Um, I for How come I forget this thing in English? What is this called? No. Oh, I can't believe. I never thought I can forget this. Okay, but you see a shadow of my my elbow, okay, my elbow, it means my elbow is just right, I can see a shadow of my elbow as I'm speaking to you on this table, it means my sh elbow is right here, if you see a shadow of this mic that I'm using to talk to you right now, it means the mic is where, just right next, so you see, he had to understand that death is near, but he whom tr promised me he is faithful, he never lies, that's why the Lord, the Bible says, the Lord said, I am the Lord, I change not. I am not like men who can lie or change his mind. So you see, all we need is to walk in confidence, believing that, uh-uh, I am trusting that I'm walking with a bodyguard. He is, oh, come on. So you rest and you walk in confidence. That is how much we must trust God. That is why I'm telling you today, I am addressing any situation from the moment you are watching this and you are hearing this. 
Anything bad that was to happen to you a minute later, an hour later, a day, a week, and a month, or a year later, decade later, anything bad, I pray, may God begin to remove every stumbling block that was on your way. Anything that they were planning to do against you will not work against you. I hear somebody, you are going through something that you know they are planning against you. Listen. May God fight your battles. God will fight your battles. Whatever was to work against you, you shall win every battle that is being waged against you. I pray and I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, you can also book an appointment with me. All my details are on the comment section below. See you next time and stay blessed.